Ifra Ahmed has spent a lifetime campaigning to end FGM and now aided by fellow activists, she's come to Jijiga in the Somali region of Ethiopia where over 90% of girls are still mutilated. Today, Ifra has set up the country's first ever media academy to train over 50 religious leaders, government officials, journalists and activists on how to use the media to end FGM. The aim? To enforce the country's religious ban on FGM signed in 2020 by Ethiopia's most prominent imams, which so far has been ignored. We know from our campaigns across the border in Somalia the powerful effect that revealing FGM's medical harms can have on religious leaders. <laughs> So here, this intense training course kicks off with getting activists up to speed on what FGM does to a girl's body. Putting religious leaders on the media has been highly successful in Somalia. Back at the Media Academy, activists are learning how to organise campaigns. The focus is to put religious leaders on every TV and radio station here in the Somali region of Ethiopia and use the 2020 fatwa to end FGM. Some of these young campaigners have already put together TV ads like this one, fronted by the Somali region political leadership and other influencers, including a poet, a medic, a journalist, and a religious leader. It gives a clear and powerful message. This media campaign training follows a model pioneered by the Global Media Campaign, which has already been rolled out successfully in nine countries across Africa. Following an intense media campaign in Kenya, again focusing on religious leaders, there was a dramatic fall in the worst type of FGM, from over 50% to less than 